And this is such an auspicious day in the life of God. And it feels just to be the right place to be here. Um, and it's been in the making for the last 15 years. So we're honored to be here this morning. This transaction is also shifting Vodacom up again. Vodacom is now selling 15% to Vodafone. They can make Vodafone a majority shareholder, 65% shareholder. And we will move from being a partner network of Vodafone to a full subsidiary network. And that will also give us far more, far more scope for growth into the future. As a joint entity, we can really become a powerful force and that, will, that can change and shape the future of the continent and the landscape around us. So as we're entering this period of internal review and renewal, we will focus on the issues that will affect how the rest of the world see us and our reputation to the outside world. And we will take cognizance of our business partners also the communities around us. We will also reaffirm our position as innovation leaders in the country and on the continent. Any company 15 years into its life cycle needs some renewal, and we are no different. And the economic state that the world is currently experiencing is a magnificent opportunity for us to grab it and to start a renewal process. And now with the added force of Vodafone behind us, we can reach far more people with many more solutions and innovations. Now we have the added brain power and innovation capabilities of a large organization with almost 300 million subscribers around, customers around the world. We then will also have the added purchasing power of an operator that have invested in network infrastructure in more than 30 countries around the world. And they are also one of the largest and most influential customers of suppliers selling handsets and little infrastructure.